Howdy, and welcome to this nice Lazy Sunday video about the Daisy 21, a double barrel BB gun from around the 1970s-ish. There are way better sources of information out there on this than me, so this is going to be a brief overview, but if you have any questions, put them in the comments, I'll try to help where I can. So, the gun weighs about pretty much exactly 2 kilograms. The stock is made completely out of plastic, the rest of the gun is metal, it has really nice engravings that are painted on both sides, mine's in very good condition. It even still has the sticker at the top. So I'm assuming that the, the the person I bought this from might be watching. So thank you so much for bringing it over and for tolerating me talking at you for so long. So to get the gun ready to fire, it's like a lot of BB, uh, Daisy BB guns, where you have to rotate the front of the barrel, which then gets you the magazine or clip, whatever you want to call it. So then you take this little slidey bit Take it all the way to the back, lock it firmly, unless you enjoy using blood as nail polish. That exposes this little hole. You can drop some BBs in, just close it, repeat that for both barrels. Then once they're full, swivel the selector to either side. That lets you break the gun open. Now that you have it cracked, make sure that you keep your fleshy bits away from this groove over here. Break the gun in half. That charges the springs for both barrels. Close it up. The safety is automatic and will engage every single time you break it open. So click that forwards and now you're ready to fire the triggers in any order that you like. So this is probably not the most accurate gun and I'm not the most accurate person, but let's give it a go and see what happens. Alrighty, at 6 meters, that group's a lot better than what I thought it would be. I thought I'd have to use my tape measure to measure it. So yeah, the gun isn't that loud, it cocks and breaks very easily. I do find it kind of difficult to hold though. Now seeing as I've never held a proper shotgun, I don't know what it's like. However, I struggle to keep my hand away from the selector switch and reach both triggers at the same time. So you'd have to put your hand on top to actually get both triggers. Or, as I resorted to, putting my hand underneath like this. So I'm not too sure how I should be shooting it. Uh, honestly, I don't want to shoot this too much because it's kind of a vintage item. And as such, I'll be putting some photos at the end of the video just because I think it's very pretty. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, go for it. But yeah, be kind to each other. Bye.